ಕೆಲವು ಹಾಯ್ ಲಕ್ಷಿತಾ ಬನ್ಸಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಮೈ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ವಿದರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಡಿಯೋಲ್ ಆಡಿಯೋಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅನ್ಶೂಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಲೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋಸರ್ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆಗಾಲೋಬ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅನಿಮಿಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವಿಟಮಿನ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ in the biochemistry the vitamin it is known for the clinical cases the important clinical cases but what is problem here with megaloblastic anemia two important vitamin deficiency causes megaloblastic anemia mainly the megaloblastic anemia in biochemistry it is because of either b12 deficiency or folic acid defici- deficiency there is third disorder that is orotic acid urea which also causes the megaloblastic anemia so we'll discuss how to differentiate between the megaloblastic anemia due to vitamin b12 deficiency and megaloblastic anemia due to folate deficiency and how these two vitamins are connected with each other in the folate trap now see this clinical case a pregnant female came to opd with cheap complaints of fatigue weakness and breathlessness peripheral blood smear showed large oval rbcs see this large oval rbcs hyper segmented neutrophils decrease hemoglobin means anemia and raised mean corpuscular volume urine showed excretion of figlu farm immunoglutamic acid in the histidine load test so see this picture this is normal rbc this is a picture peripheral smear large oval rbcs and hyper segmented neutrophils this is a classical finding in the megaloblastic anemia here diagnosis is megaloblastic anemia as it is indicated large oval rbcs large oval rbcs or macrocytes macrocytes so it is megaloblastic anemia but what is the reason whether it is due to b12 deficiency or folate deficiency okay there is no orotate excretion in the urine so orotic aciduria it is ruled out orotic acid there are three important causes of megaloblastic anemia related with biochemistry for the first professional examination first one is the folate deficiency second is the b12 deficiency and third one is the uh, orotic aciduria now remember in the folate and b12 deficiency dietary history if it is given it is very very important because folic acid is present in the green leafy vegetable folium poly folium means leaves so it is present in green leafy vegetable and vitamin b12 it is present in food of animal origin so the dietary history is very very important for the differentiation and the excretion what is excreted in the urine this is also uh, important there is excretion of figlu that is farm immunoglutamic acid in the histidine load test it is in the folate deficiency and uh, the methyl malonic acid it is excreted in the b12 deficiency so this urinary finding dietary history is important for the diagnosis of this uh, megaloblastic anemia whether it is due to b12 deficiency or folate deficiency so here diagnosis is megaloblastic anemia due to now this is problem here whether it is due to folate deficiency or b12 deficiency now see what are the sub questions that can be asked related with this uh, clinical case what is your probable diagnosis so it is megaloblastic anemia due to folate or b12 deficiency so we'll discuss wha- whether it is b12 or the folic acid deficiency why large oval rbcs are there why there is larger cytoplasm small size of nucleus why there is large oval rbcs in the peripheral smear then how to differentiate between b12 and folate deficiency and what do you mean by folate trap how this b12 and folate they are connected with each other and what do you mean by functional folate deficiency that is known as folate trap now this is clear this is megaloblastic anemia because 
there is large oval rbcs in the picture also mcv mean corpuscular volume it is raised okay mcv is raised means mean corpuscular volume so don't go in detail with the mch mcv so mcv mean cor corpuscular volume and mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration now see so decrease hemoglobin reduces the mch okay and the larger size of rbcs means mean corpuscular volume it is raised okay larger mcv raised means megaloblastic or macrocytic rbcs so just keep this in the mind now there are megaloblastic anemia there are two important causes megaloblastic anemia related with biochemistry there are two important causes one is b12 deficiency and another one is the folate deficiency folic acid deficiency b9 folic acid deficiency these two vitamin deficiency causes megaloblastic anemia now how to differentiate between these two b12 b12 there is megaloblastic anemia it is associated with excretion of methyl malonic acid in urine excretion of methyl malonate methyl malonate malonic acid in urine and here in the folate deficiency folate deficiency there is on histidine load test so histidine load test there is excretion of farm immunoglutamic acid in urine on histidine when histidine is given there is excretion of farm immunoglutamic acid in the urine this is associated with the folic acid now how these two vitamins are connected with each other how they are connected with with each other by the reaction that is conversion of homocysteine to methionine now see this reaction in which so i always draw this reaction in a upward direction so homocysteine it is converted into homocysteine it is converted into methionine methionine so this is this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme that is methionine synthase methionine synthase this is enzyme which catalyzes the conversion of homocysteine to methionine and for this reaction vitamin b12 is required vitamin b12 is required and in this reaction this methyl tetrahydrofolate methyl tetrahydrofolate it is converted into tetrahydrofolate okay means this reaction is dependent on vitamin b12 this reaction is dependent on folic acid so both are required here for conversion of homocysteine to methionine now when there is b12 deficiency vitamin b12 deficiency this is blocked here this reaction is blocked here when it is blocked this methyl tetrahydrofolate it is trapped as methyl tetrahydrofolate it is trapped as methyl tetrahydrofolate and there is no other use of this methyl tetrahydrofolate only one reaction for this only one reaction methyl tetrahydrofolate is required and it is not converted into other products so methyl tetrahydrofolate is there present but it is trapped it is trapped because there is no use of this methyl tetrahydrofolate that's why it is known as functional folate deficiency in vitamin b12 so when vitamin b12 deficiency is there folate deficiency is there so this is why b12 deficiency also causes the folate deficiency and this is the reason for the megaloblastic anemia now why folate deficiency causes megaloblastic anemia so see this is reason folic acid folic acid the active form is tetrahydrofolate dihydrofolate tetrahydrofolate and this tetrahydrofolate it is required for the synthesis of purines and pyrimidines it is required for the synthesis of c2 of the purine it is required for the synthesis of c2 of the purine then c8 of the purine c2 and c8 of the purine the tetrahydrofolate is required for the c2 the formal tetrahydrofolate is required and for the c8 it is the methanyl tetrahydrofolate which is required so for the formation of c2 and c8 of the purine nucleotide 
purine it is required folic acid is required also the thymidylate synthesis means ump uridylate deoxyuridylate it is converted into thymidylate deoxy thymidylate tmp it is with the help of thymidylate synthase enzyme thymidylate synthase enzyme and for this reaction the methylene tetrahydrofolate is required so here again tetrahydrofolate is required again tetrahydrofolate is required methylene tetrahydrofolate is required which tetrahydrofolate so for cu c2 formyl tetrahydrofolate c8 the methanyl tetrahydrofolate and it, this is meth, uh, methylene tetrahydrofolate is required for this uh, thymidylate synthesis so it is required tetrahydrofolate it is required for the nucleotide synthesis and it is important in the dna and rna synthesis if there is decrease in the nucleotide synthesis it will affect the size of nucleus so smaller size nucleus is there in the uh, folate deficiency smaller size nucleus decrease decrease dna rna synthesis so smaller size decrease the size of nucleus as there is decreased size of nucleus and because of decrease in the nucleotide there is there is arrest in the s phase of cell division s phase of cell division cell growth arrested in the s phase of cell division and cell grows means uh, it is arrested in the s phase of cell division so there is no division of the cell and cell grows continuously without a cell division so there is larger cytoplasm so decreased size of nucleus and it is arrested in the s phase of cell division so there is larger cytoplasm and small size nucleus so that gives large oval rbcs large oval rbcs that is macrocytosis megaloblast is there in the deficiency of folate so decreased nucleotide synthesis decreased dna and rna synthesis gives the smaller size nucleus cell growth is arrested in the s phase of cell division cell grows continuously without a cell division so cell cycle it is arrested in the s phase of cell division and cell grows continuously without a cell division that's why there is larger cytoplasm and megaloblast will be there large oval rbcs will be there in the b12 as well as the folate deficiency so b12 it is present in the uh, food of animal origin the folate it is present in the foliage means leaves it is present in the green leafy vegetable so dietary history is important now in the b12 deficiency as it is required for the methyl malonyl coenzyme a mutase reaction now see b12 it is required for this uh, in the propionyl coenzyme a it is converted into methyl malonyl coenzyme a methyl malonyl coenzyme a and this is converted into succinyl coenzyme a which enters the tca cycle and this is a gluconeogenic genesis reaction where odd chain fatty acid is converted into glucose so for this step b12 is required so methyl coen malonyl coenzyme a mutase reaction this is required mutase methyl malonyl coenzyme a mutase if there is block in this reaction there is accumulation of this methyl malonic acid and it is excreted in the urine in the b12 deficiency also this causes the inhibition of fatty acid synthesis sphingolipids and glycolipids defective formation of sphingolipids and glycolipids defective myelin formation that causes the subacute combined degeneration of spinal cord in the b12 deficiency folic acid it is uh, related if there is pregnancy there is folate deficiency uh, uh, it can cause it can cause the neural tube defect so folic acid deficiency in pregnancy pregnancy causes the neural tube defect that is spina bifida bifida and anencephaly anencephaly so that's why the in pregnancy there is supplementation of folic acid is given folic acid is supplemented compulsory folic acid 500 microgram of folic acid is given in the pregnancy the rd of folic acid is 200 microgram rd of b12 is 1 to 2 microgram this is 200 microgram 1 to 2 microgram okay so folic acid there are four important reactions for which folic acid is required 
फर्स्ट वन इज द कन्वर्शन ऑफ ग्लाइसिन इन टू सीरीन कन्वर्शन ऑफ ग्लाइसिन इन टू सीरीन देन सी टू ऑफ द प्यूरिन सी एट ऑफ द प्यूरिन देन थाइमिडिलेट सिंथेसिस इट इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड कन्वर्शन ऑफ होमोसिस्टीन इन टू मिथ्योनिन इट इज रिक्वायर्ड होमोसिस्टीन इन टू मिथ्योनिन फॉर दिस रिएक्शन reactions folic acid is required folic acid is required on the histidine load test when histidine is given histidine is converted into formiminoglutamic acid and if there is deficiency of folate in the deficiency of folate there is decreased tetrahydrofolate so this decreased tetrahydrofolate or folate deficiency this is excreted in the urine otherwise this is converted into glutamate and there is thf which is converted into farm amino tetrahydrofolate so this is uh, thf is converted into farm farm amino tetrahydrofolate and uh, if there is thf is deficient this is excreted in the urine so figlu is excreted in the urine this is this can be used for the diagnosis of megaloblastic anemia because of folate deficiency so these are the functions of folate in our body so in general this is b12 and folic acid which causes the megaloblastic anemia because of folate there is folate is required for the dna and rna synthesis so that's why there is megaloblastosis or means megaloblastic rbcs are there because of folate deficiency as b12 and folate they are connected by the folate trap b12 deficiency also causes the megaloblastic anemia the third important cause which is related with the biochemistry for the first mbbs students it is the orotic acid urea which causes the folate deficiency because decreased pyrimidine nucleotide synthesis in orotic acid urea it is because of defect in the two enzymes of pyrimidine nucleotide synthesis that is o2 o2 means uh, omp decarboxylase one is the omp uh, decarboxylase so orotic acid urea one is omp decarboxylase and another one is oprts this two enzyme deficiency causes the orotic acid urea so this is all about the megaloblastic anemia and related folic acid and vitamin b12 deficiency so thank you all of you don't forget to watch the further session which is next line up on the medet channel that is about the hemoglobin chemistry and metabolism and the important clinical cases and important lacus and secus related with the hemoglobin metabolism so thank you all of you hi shubhradeep hi alisha hi guddu hi roy thank you all of you